Hello Libras, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a love and romance reading for you for the month of February in honor of Valentine's Day. And I'm using the Celtic Cross this time um, just to narrow down, you know, one aspect of your life, which is your love life. So let's get started here. Um, for the root of the matter, or the crowning energy, I have the Page of Wands in the reverse position. Now the Page of Wands is a very spirited and a very um, kind of hot blooded um, type of young energy. So for those who are in a coupled relationship, um, I feel that you might be a little more demanding of your partner, your partner's time, your partner's um, just, you know, you demand a little more from the relationship, okay? And um, you're not as understanding of the other person. Therefore, it's important to take a step back and just understand why your partner is not giving you the time that you need and, you know, is not, um, is a little more reserved this month, okay? So I feel that strongly. Um, and for those who are single as well, um, I just feel that you have a lot of energy, you have a lot of drive, and you do want to get out there and meet people, and you, you almost like... You want to just, um, you're very impatient too, and you want to just get out there and start dating and just, you know, fall like madly in love with another person. So there's that, um, that, I guess like, um, that newness, but, um, it's projected in a negative way in that you're a little too pushy this month, okay? So be aware of that. Um, what's crossing you is the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups is basically, you know, trying to tell you that the people that you encounter might not um, be very receptive to this pushy energy. Um, it's okay to be energetic, but at the same time you have to gauge how others are receiving you and how you come across to other people. Because I just feel that, um, you know, this is telling you to temper that energy with uh, a little more water so that you can have a little more balanced approach when you approach other people, okay? And then also, <clears throat> in the um, cross position, um, it's also indicative of a water sign as well. For those of you who might have, you know, struggled with a water sign, who are in a relationship with a water sign, you guys might be at cross purposes with each other right now. Either you're in a relationship with them and you're not seeing eye to eye on a lot of things, or... Um, if you are out in the dating world and, you know, you encounter this water sign um, and you actually like this water sign, male or female, and you want to possibly pursue him or her, um, just be very gentle in your approach. Don't, you know, rush in too fast and too impatiently because it might scare them off, okay? Because they're very reserved and they, they, they want somebody with a little more finesse. So be careful about that. Um, in terms of your past, I do have the Eight of Pentacles here in the reverse position. So, um, in the upright position, it indicates apprenticeship and putting a lot of time and energy into learning a new craft, okay? So, for those who are coupled, um, I feel that you have, you know, um, spent a lot of time in a relationship, you know, this is eight months, eight years, or just an amount of time that you feel is a long time. You work night and day to perfect that relationship, and then at the end, the other person walks away from you, or you feel that you had to walk away from that the from the other person because no matter how much work, no matter how much time you invested into that relationship, it just didn't pay off the way you wanted. Okay, so that's a very um, I feel like it's a very recent um, disappointment that you're grappling with. Hence, the Page of Wands energy in which you know a lot of you are entering the dating scene again and you're a little pushy, okay? Because I, I know that uh, after that you know what you want, but um, at the same time, you know, like coming across that way too soon and especially in a dating environment, it might not be conducive to anything long term, okay? In terms of what's coming in for you, we do have the Fool in the reverse position. So again, this energy is just... Um, echoes all the other energies from the other cards and um, the Fool in Reverse is basically um, the. this could be somebody that is coming in your mist if it is a person that is coming in um, then it's a situation where they're a little more hesitant towards making big, commi big commitments or they're hesitant about you know um, they assess situations fully 
before they get involved, okay? So for those who are in a um, committed relationship, just know that this is the month in which your partner is taking a step back and they're a little more... Um, they're a little more skeptical about the things that you do so you know they might be wondering why uh, and you feel like you might have to explain your actions to them so um, just be careful of that for those who are single if you're out there and you're dating again um, the people that you get involved with they're not going to um, they're going to be very deliberate about um, you know how they approach re relationships in general so I think in general you're going to if you're single and you're dating again you're going to uh, encounter more you know like um, more like m emotionally mature people but at the same time they require a little more commitment before they get involved with you so you know coupled with this page of wands energy it's going to be a little frustrating because you're not getting what you want right off the bat they're gonna put you th uh, make you jump through a few hoops first but also in the full um, if this full is coming in you know in the um, what's coming in right now it could also be a situation for those who are single okay you've invested a lot into a relationship that you had to leave behind or the other person left you behind so then you're very cautious about entering new relationships therefore you're you're like holding yourself back completely and then this part of you gets repressed and um, in the process you're not getting out there and meeting new people for those of you who are in committed relationships you're still working really hard at that situation and you're not taking enough risk to move the re the situation in a way that you want that is better for your emotional needs you're not voicing your opinions you're not um you're not letting your partner know like what you need to be you know emotionally fulfilled in this relationship and I just feel you know with this Queen of Cups crossing you you don't feel emotionally fulfilled for those who are coupled up so it's time to have that talk with your partner okay Valentine's Day is just the perfect time to do it people are pretty receptive okay so in terms of your hopes and aspirations what you're hoping out of this relationship and um, you're hoping for a lot of stability with the nine of um, pentacles is in the reverse position so in general you're hoping for a lot of um, stability you're hoping for a lot of leisure time between with your partner and you're also hoping for that um, really nice loving caring and stable relationship okay and I feel that um, with your aspirations in with a reverse card coming out for your position of aspirations I feel that at this point, um, you just don't know how this relationship is going to measure up. And for those who are single, um, I just feel that you're a little frustrated right now in that the people you meet um, are not living up to your standards, first of all, or they don't really, they're too deliberate, therefore you they're at cross purposes with you, or it's a situation in which you know incompatibilities really manifest within relationships or within you know dating casual dating relationships too and then you don't see anything going long term or you haven't met people with the qualities that would allow you to have a stable relationship so that's how it, that would uh, manifest itself so as for the um, this is your subconscious this is something that is affecting this relationship or this situation that you might not be aware of and it is the page of swords and you know with the two page energies I just feel that um well at least you know he's in the upright position but um it's a very young energy and the page of swords is um also about honesty okay so this is a situation where you have to represent yourself fully and then when you talk to other people when you um you can come across as being too analytical or you can come across as um, as uh, I guess as a little too jarring with your words because um, I have this Queen of Cups here at crop people who are at who are at cross purposes with yourself they might feel that you're a little too blunt a little too forward and um, be careful too with the two the page of wands and the page of swords you might be asking people like uh, 
questions that might be a little too personal okay so um be aware of that especially if you're encountering like a water sign because um you don't want to be too invasive okay so be careful of these two young energies especially when you're dating and then for those who are in a solid relationship okay um i i just feel that um if you have children too, you know the um, the kids might be interfering in your romance department. In that, you know they're sucking away your time and your your energy to be alone with your significant other. And then for those without children, I feel that um, your ability to communicate um, has dwindled somewhat. So it's time to reintroduce like the romance into the relationship instead of talking about you know mindless things or. Um, it's time to really have deep conversations. I feel that would really enrich the relationship rather than talk, talking about like um, everyday events and, you know, like really mundane and um, superficial topics. It's time to really reconnect with your partner in an intellectual way to reinvigorate that relationship, okay? As for the advice from the universe, this is surrounding this situation. I have the Six of Pentacles, and this is quite interesting because um, there are a lot of Pentacles card, and they're all showing up in the reverse position, which is kind of sad, but um, this is a love reading, so the, the Pentacles card take on a different meaning. So, <clears throat> Six of Pentacles indicates um, a card of charity, of giving giving your time, giving your resources to the people that you care about, okay? So, I just feel that, you know, with this month, you might not feel like you're in a state of mind to give, okay? You might be a little stressed out. You might be, like, um, you might be feeling very argumentative and also, you know, just, um, just very impatient. So, you might not be able to devote the time and their energy to, um, what is that word to um, to cater to your partner's whims like for example if they want to do something like romantic you know for um, for this month you might not really want to do that because it doesn't bring you the, the the satisfaction therefore you don't want to do that or for those of you who are single you just don't feel the need for courtship and all of that because you feel that you know if both parties are like each other there's no need for the extravagant you know courtship so just know that it's romance is a huge part of being in a relationship okay so it's mind over matter so if they want that romance and you really like them just go out of your way a little bit to accommodate the other person in terms of your external environment, um, this is interesting here. I have the Nine of Swords, and uh, this is, it's in the upright position. So, obviously, um, let's see, there is no internet dating or anything related to that. Um, so, this is a situation in which, um, okay, if you have been taking risks in the past when it comes to dating for those who are single, I think you know the the risks are catching up to you in that they're bringing more problems I just feel a lot of young energy in general so if you've been taking risks you're doing it with people who are very emotionally in, um, immature therefore you know the emotional toll has taken um, t has taken root and it's keeping you up at night in this situation as for um, for those who are coupled up I just feel that the communication style with you and your partner are very out of sync this month. Therefore, it's a little bit jarring and it's just very difficult to deal with right now. And I just want you to know that energy will pass, okay? I mean, it is Mercury in retrograde until the 11th. So until Valentine's Day, things might get a little better, okay? Or things might get a whole lot better. Just be a little more patient. Just Practice a little more patience when dealing with your love partners, your romantic interests. So communication might be a little blocked or things might get misconstrued around this time to bring about this card in this position, I feel. In terms of your hopes and fears, um, we have the King of Wands in the reverse position. So um, in terms of hopes, you're hoping to take more control in the relationship. Um, it's, 
actually going to be quite difficult just because um, you have a very page like energy here so your efforts are kind of blocked this month it's it's a weird vibe um, and in terms of your um, your fears you feel like very um, you don't feel very empowered in this relationship just because your partner, for those who are a couple, your partner might not see eye to eye with you in a lot of things, or your partner is just really not jiving with your communication style. I feel like there's a lot of um, blockages with communications too, due to the sword energy and due to, you know, people like wanting different things. You know, like, um, with air and water, it's just a, a really hard mix, okay? And um, as for your outcome, I first pulled out the Seven of Wands, okay? And the Seven of Wands deals with um, somebody who is actually <clears throat> taking the initiative and to try to do it alone. So this is showing up right here. In this position, in the upright position, it's actually very good because it's, uh, it's a self-starter. Somebody who sees a problem and tries to fix it, and they don't really... Um, they're a lone wolf and you know they're they're willing to stand up for themselves so that's a really great energy however if it just leads to a situation in which you're bickering over mindless things it's um it's kind of um counterproductive okay so uh take it easy take it easy you have this king of wands in the reverse position so take it easy this month at least. I do have a very nice energy coming in too. Um, I have the Three of Cups which deals with celebration. So I drew this out, um, these two cards as the outcome earlier because this one slipped out. Um, so the Three of Cups is a very nice celebratory energy and towards the end of this month you're not going to feel um, you're go not going to feel like you're in that celebratory mood until the very end, okay? Um, so just hang in there, let all of this pass by, and I feel like it's just mindless bickering energy. And a lot of it, just know that um, the anguish is all in your head, okay? This is a very mental card due to the swords. So the relationship itself, too, will repair itself. It's not in the best situation right now because you guys don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. And then if you're single, too, the dating scene will pick up where you're meeting a lot more emotionally mature people. And then for those of you, too, just um, just relax, take a breather, and um, don't come on too strong, and don't uh, be too aggressive when it comes to pursuing love interest, okay? Um, I know you have other people because at least you have a good time and you can like make more friends and expand your social circle. So that's always a plus. So I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Please like, subscribe, and share. And also leave me comments. Let me know how this plays out in your life. And I will be back next week for the weekly um, tarot reading. So thanks for watching.